Hi and welcome to the David Isak Library in Malmö. My name is Emily Wislander and I'm the manager of this library. So what's special about us? The David Isak Library opened in September 2020 and it is the only public library in the world that we know of that collect and make available books that have been banned, censored or forbidden. Banned for some reason, at some point in time and somewhere in the world. Our collection of books consists of older historical books and of course contemporary literature. Children's books, novels, poetry, biographies and more. At the moment we have around 6,000 titles, but the collection is constantly growing. We buy books in their original language or translate it to English or the Nordic languages. And of course, you can borrow them with your library card, just like at any other public library. Many of the books that we have are hard to find in other libraries, but some of the books you would probably recognize. Not seldom our visitors are surprised to find that some of their favorite books have been banned, censored or forbidden in other countries. For that reason, we put an ex libris in every forbidden book that we have. That is, a short information leaflet that explains what kind of forbidden book this is, where it is or has been forbidden, why and when. This gives the readers an overview of the most common reasons why books are being banned or forbidden, where and when in time. For us, it's important with low thresholds and make our collection understandable and available. To find and buy the books, we depend very much on collaborations with organizations, universities, libraries and individuals from all over the world. The PEN organization is a close collaboration partner since the start. Every week we have guided school class presentations where we demonstrate the library and have lectures and workshops on the topic of forbidden culture, democracy and human rights. Afterwards, each participant gets to choose one forbidden book to take home for free and keep. School students are a prioritized group, although our library is for all ages. Our class presentations are regularly evaluated by the participants and it is clear that free speech and artistic freedom are issues that young people are very interested in and have great commitment to. Regularly, we also offer public and cost-free seminars, talks and performances on topics related to freedom of expression. Access to information, freedom of expression and artistic freedom are cornerstones in every democratic society. But democracy in the world is strongly threatened. And more and more books are being taken away from public libraries or school libraries. The reasons vary, but offensive or immoral content are common reasons. By collecting these books, our library want to contribute to the safeguarding of the world's cultural heritage. The library does not take on the role of delivering truths to our visitors. We don't intend to tell you what literature is good or bad, that's up to our visitors to decide. Instead, we want to provide access to information and a space for conversations, to enable free opinion formation and raise awareness not to take books for granted. Because free speech has never been free. As long as there have been written words, there have also been censorship. Our learning is that people are not often aware of the extensive censorship of literature in the world and that it is also happening in countries close to us. But that the knowledge of this gives rise to a great commitment to the issue. Maybe you wonder about our name, David Isak. David Isak is a Swedish Eir Eritrean author and journalist who has been imprisoned since 2001 in Eritrea without trial. This because he used his human rights and published criticism of the Eritrean regime. By naming the library after David Isak, in dialogue with his family of course, we want to shed light on his case and also inform our visitors what kind of books you can find in our library. Would you like to collaborate with us in any way? Please don't be a stranger.